Hi there, this is Fred, FR5ED, here with a beer review. Something very different for me, again. And when I say very different, it just simply means it's not a, an American IPA. Um, again, my son-in-law, my older son-in-law, Christopher, for Christmas, got me um, several singles to try. And so this is my first and only um, uh, shot at this, and, unless I like it and get some more. Um, this is Troubadour Magma. Troubadour Magma from Belgium. This is a Belgian, it says triple IPA. Uh, as I've been looking looking it up online, it's questionable as far as is it truly a triple. I mean, it is 9% ABV, but uh, I know with American IPAs, that, that wouldn't qualify it as a triple. So maybe it has more to do with the sugars that were used, like candy sugar, which I think is what C-A-N-D-I, that type of sugar I believe is used in uh, Belgian ales. And maybe that's why they're calling it a triple. Anyway, uh, on Beer Advocate, it is rated at an 86 after 97 reviews. And on, uh, on RateBeer.com, it's rated at 96, and that's after 283 reviews. So let's go ahead and experience this for ourselves. And by ourselves, I mean myself. All right, using a this very appropriate glass, this tulip for a Belgian. Okay, here we go. Wow, pretty. Oh, wow. Hang on. I <laughs> uh, have about a 12 finger head there. <laughs> Almost finished. Let's get that uh, last bit in there. There we go. Beautiful head on there. It's a, a, a very light, uh, almost apricot, honey colored. Um, beautiful, beautiful pour there. We're going to have to uh, wait a moment <laughs> for the head to settle down. Oh, wow, okay. I'm so used to the, the American hops and malts. Let's, uh, I'm already smelling something different here. This has a, oh, almost a pastry smell to it. Orange marmalade, maybe. <laughs> apricot. Oh, definite apricot. Wow, I'm going to see if I can taste through the, through the head here. It may take a moment. That was pure foam. Mmm. Very different from uh, American IPAs. You know, on the label when you see triple IPA. I mean, you're thinking something that's going to bowl you over with hops. It just knock you off your chair. And be very heavy. Um, and maybe a little sweetness. I'm not really there yet. I can't really tell you because I'm still working through the head. But that was very different from uh, any American IPA I've ever had. Mmm, that's, that's uh, very delicious. Um, now, I mentioned that it wasn't anything like any American IPA I've ever had. I really should have been comparing it more to, say, a, a double like Dogfish Head or Stouts, S-T-O-U-D-T. Um, this does resemble uh, uh, those, you know, Dogfish Head 90 and uh, Stouts double IPA, for example, and even maybe slightly uh, Weyerbacher's uh, Simcoe double IPA in that there's much more malt in there. You know, the malt backbone isn't just in the background like in a lot of American IPAs. It's it's there, you know, it's right, right there. So evident that different yeasts and different hops were used. Uh, European and, you know, Belgian um, Hops are different from American hops, and uh, the malt bills are, are, are maybe different too. This is, I would never have pegged this, shouldn't say never, uh, I wouldn't have immediately pegged this as a double or even a triple IPA if I were thinking American IPAs. Um, this has more of the Belgian ale uh, uh, foundation to it, that big, um, with more sweetness, bigger mouthfeel maybe. Um, with the, the hop bitterness is there but it's not as upfront as it is in american ipas um, this is like a belgian ale with with some hoppiness um, and, and you can tell it's more the european style hops uh, this is this is very refreshing and delightful it's not 
my typical American IPA beer of choice. Um, but I would get this again. Um, this is this is quite delightful. You know, it's got its definite Belgian roots uh, standing out, and it's got some hoppiness to it. And look at it, lace and hold the head there. That is, uh, it really is a very classy, classy, classy beer. So anyway, I highly recommend it. Uh, this is Fred, FR5ED. Over here.